Welcome, and thanks for joining Basingstoke Salvation Army's Daily Battle Drill with me, Lieutenant Rob. For more information, go to www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash daily dash devotional. Hello again for the final time this week for Battle Drill. We've been looking at Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 to 18, and today I'm going to read it from the message paraphrase. Pray with simplicity. And when you come before God, don't turn that into a theatrical production either. All these people making a regular show out of their prayers, hoping for stardom. Do you think God sits in a box seat? Here's what I want you to do. Find a quiet, secluded place so you won't be tempted to role-play before God. Just be there as simply and as honestly as you can manage. The focus will shift from you to God and you will begin to sense His grace. The world is full of so-called prayer warriors who are prayer ignorant. They're full of formulas and programs and advice, peddling techniques for getting what you want from God. Don't fall for that nonsense. This is your father you are dealing with, and he knows better than you what you need. With a God like this loving you, you can pray very simply. Like this. Our Father in heaven, reveal who you are. Set the world right. Do what's best. As above, so below. Keep us alive with three square meals. Keep us forgiven with you and forgiving others. Keep us safe from ourselves and the devil. You're in charge. You can do anything you want. You're ablaze in beauty. Yes. 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 In prayer, there is a connection between what God does and what you do. You can't get forgiveness from God, for instance, without also forgiving others. If you refuse to do your part, you cut yourself off from God's part. When you practice some appetite-denying discipline to better concentrate on God, don't make a production out of it. It might turn you into a small-time celebrity, but it won't make you a saint. If you go into training inwardly, Act normally outwardly. Shampoo and comb your hair. Brush your teeth. Wash your face. God doesn't require attention-getting devices. He won't overlook what you are doing. He'll reward you well. Amen. No one I know has ever seen the Heavenly Father Jesus encourages us to speak to. So how can we know him and speak to him if we've never seen him? It's difficult to imagine this in a day and age when we can see people in so many different ways, face to face, on television, over the internet. But for most of human history, important people, like say the king or queen for example, would have been invisible, unseen, by most of the population. How did they know the king or queen actually existed if they'd never seen them? Perhaps one of the most important ways people knew their kings and queens in history was through portraits. They at least made it possible for people to know a likeness of their ruler. Jesus is our Father in Heaven's portrait. Actually, he's much more than that. He is the complete expression of God in human form. If you want to know what your Heavenly Father looks like, then look at Jesus. In his Gospel, John wrote in chapter 1 verse 18, No one has ever seen God, but the unique one, who is, his, who is himself God, is near to the Father's heart. He has revealed God to us. Jesus reveals our Father in Heaven to us. Read about him in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and the rest of the Bible. Get to know him 
and you will come to know God. God bless you as you continue on that journey. As you do so, think through the following question today. How do you see your Heavenly Father in the life of Jesus? And I hope to see you again soon for more Battle Drills. We hope you've been encouraged and equipped by this daily devotional. Why not find us on Facebook or Instagram by searching for Basingstoke Salvation Army? And join us again soon for another daily battle drill.